The Diocese of Springfield is sharing their new initiatives to respond to allegations of clergy sexual abuse. Good to have you with us on this Tuesday. I'm Dave Matson, And I'm Beth Ward. They're also reorganizing their Office of Safe Environments and Victim Assistance to better help serve victims who have come forward. Western Mass News reporter Caroline Powers here now with more on the changes as the Catholic Church continues to address the clergy sex abuse scandal. Dave and Beth Mitchell, Bishop Mitchell Rosansky said the Catholic Church and Diocese of Springfield have already done a number of things to improve their response, but they know they can still do better. First and foremost, whenever a victim comes forward, uh, our, our job is to, is to listen and to hear and, and, to, and to understand uh, their experience. And, and so that is my expectation. As the Springfield Diocese continues to build upon their system of responding to allegations of clergy sexual abuse, Western Mass News was there when Bishop Mitchell Rosansky introduced Jeffrey Trant Tuesday afternoon. He's the new director of the diocese's Office of Safe Environments and Victim Assistance. We would take an intake report of an allegation of, uh, of, of sexual abuse and that we would follow mandated reporting laws uh, to report that to appropriate authorities. In addition, we would ensure that the allegations are then investigated by our review board uh, after they have been reported. Bishop Brzezanski also addressed the new church law, which establishes a third-party reporting system for allegations against bishops. If there is an allegation against a bishop, whether that be that the bishop knew about abuse and did not handle it properly, or the bishop uh, abused someone himself, that there would be a third party who would take that complaint, and then that would begin an investigation. Bishop Rosansky adds it's important the new and old cases are investigated properly. Investigating and being able to establish as credible these decades old sinful and criminal actions is not an easy task. But it is a task we remain committed to fulfilling with integrity. The Hamden County District Attorney's Office says their clergy sexual abuse hotline has been active. They continue to ask survivors to report cases, both old and new, directly to law enforcement. But neither the District Attorney's Office or the diocese could provide numbers on how many calls they have taken. For Western Mass News, I'm Caroline Powers.